Hey everybody, welcome back. It is January 20th right now. It's a Friday. It's January 20th and just going to do this uh, a series of speed tests again through the daytime because it seems like a lot of people still want to know through the daytime. So here's what we're going to do. It is, I'm starting a little bit earlier today. It is 8.22 a.m. right now. I'm going to go ahead and do a series of three tests here. So here we go, and I'm using the same server that I always do, the Sparklight in Atlanta. And uh, and this is for everybody that's you know curious about working from home or just working in, or looking in general for during the day. And it's usually you know as you can see here during the day it's always like this. You know it's usually around 100 megabit per second connection, which is absolutely great. So and you can see right here we have 105.87 download megabit per second download speed, a 32 millisecond ping, and a 4.79 megabit per second upload speed. And I'm going to be doing these tests for the next, you know, who knows how long. They're still working on uh, sending more and more satellites up into, uh, you know, up in. And actually, they just got a new launch license uh, December 1st, so they can start on the next phase. So that's what they've been doing. They've been starting on the next phase of these. Now, the next phase of the satellites I'm talking about and the next phase of the satellites are uh, Starlink 2.0. They're faster, they have more throughput, and they connect better with each other. So from now on, now they only started launching those at the very end of December. Now the ping on, uh, real quick, the ping on this one is 26 milliseconds, 94.17 megabit per second download, a 13.29 megabit per second upload. So that was a real good upload speed. We're gonna do one more. And so starting in December, they started launching the version 2 satellites, which will be a lot faster. Now those are, uh, after they launch, just so everybody knows, it takes about two to three months for them to get into their final position uh, in low Earth orbit before they actually come online. And sometimes what has happened in the past is solar flares at the wrong times, and as they're coming online, they ended up, you know, getting killed. You know, the satellites, they had one launch that, you know they launched like 52 and out of the 52 like seven made it because there was a solar flare when they were deploying and it screwed up their electronics so this one was 24 millisecond ping uh this is the third one so you can see the the latency is really low on all of these and this one was 145.32 megabit per second download a 4.32 megabit per second upload so that was a series of three tests i'm going to do probably an hour hour and a half so 9 30 10 o'clock somewhere around there I'll do another series. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to keep doing this for a while as they keep growing their network. I have noticed that the peak speed uh, at about like 2 in the morning, for example, the peak speed used to be well over 200. Now it seems like the peak speed is right around 160, which that's fine. You know, uh, like I don't know what everybody else is doing, but even when I have to get large files, 160 megabit per second uh, is a pretty good connection. So I'm going to leave it off here. And if you guys like this content, like and subscribe. I'm going to do, like I said, I'll be back about 10 o'clock. And uh, we'll do another series of three. So we'll see you then. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. It is, uh, let me see, 10 o'clock. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a series of tests here. That's the wrong server, though. I want the Sparklight server. Okay, so we're going to do a series of three, um, three tests right now, and we'll see how it's progressing. Said 10 o'clock in the morning. Shouldn't be too bad. It's usually pretty good. Uh, it's usually actually really good all day, and I've never had a problem since I started working from home. I've never had a problem during the day. So we have a 24 millisecond ping, 114.12 megabit per second download speed. And it looks like the upload speed is is going to be really nice. 9.16. So that was test number one. Let's do test number two again. It's January 20th, 10.02. Again, if you, if you like this, I'm going to keep doing these for a while. Because I know that they keep opening up more and more and more uh, sections of the country to this. So as you run across these, go ahead and bookmark it. If you're just waiting on your, you know, or uh, subscribe to my channel. That way, as time goes along, uh, if it finally gets ready, you get re it gets offered in your area. Where you want to know, hey, roughly, what's the what's the current values going for? By the way, I am in Northwest Georgia, 
Georgia the state, not the country. Uh, and on this one, we have 32 millisecond ping, 171.16 megabit per second download speed, which is really good, and 10.23 megabit per second upload speed. So let's do test number three here. Yeah, I'm from the state of Georgia, northwest Georgia, actually. Uh, and this was actually one of the last areas that got it offered in the state of Georgia. My cousin lives about an hour and 10 minutes south of me, and she had it, the full version of it, even though she signed up after me. She had it, oh, what, like three months before I got it. So, um, but, you know, that's all right. That's the way it goes. So this last one, number three, 34 millisecond ping, 169.37 megabit per second download speed. And this is getting really consistent too. 8.95 megabit per second upload speed. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So that's it. For test number three, I'm going to go test number, uh, or the next series of tests, it's 10 o'clock right now, probably around, oh, 11.30, if I, yeah, probably around 11.30, I'll try to hit it again. So we will see then. Hey, welcome back everyone. It is noon, about a half hour late. So it is noon, we're going to go ahead and get started here. And we're still on the wind stream in Atlanta. Uh, server. So as you can tell during the day, it's still very nice. Well, yeah, uh, anybody that's been paying attention, it looks like they're getting closer and closer on Starship. And once they get close to Starship, I'm talking SpaceX, once they get to launch that one, then you're talking about it'll be launching 400 satellites at a time. And they've already been working on getting the uh, satellite um, dispenser. It's like a big Pez dispenser with full of satellites getting that installed and everything else that's working. So, I mean, they're working on to it right now pretty pretty steadily. Uh, the ping was 36 milliseconds, 131 megabit per second download and 9.64 megabit per second upload. That was test number one. It's noon or 12.04 right now. Ooh, that ping's higher. But yeah, so they're doing, you know, a, a lot of stuff. They got a launch license, as I said, as of December 1st for their next series of satellites, which are the version two satellites, which are, you know, much faster. They're about the same size, but they're much faster. And they also deal with interconnectivity between all the satellites. And so if you're connected to a satellite and you're like, oh, well, there's a lot of people on it, but it automatically branches out and connects to the other satellites to pull, uh, pull information from them too. So that way it helps the bandwidth of each individual one. It'll especially help people that live on the coast because there's nobody in the middle of the Pacific or Atlantic that uh, that's going to be pulling it. So if you can connect to those satellites uh, that are, you know, over oceans or, you know, things like that, then you can have a whole lot more people on each satellite. Uh, we have a ping of on this one. Ping was kind of high at 95 milliseconds, but uh, 88 megabit per second download, 18.29. Wow, that's really fast upload speed. That's nice. That was test number two. I'm going to go ahead and start test number three here. The ping's back down there. It must have been like satellite just right at the edge of the, uh, uh, like right at the edge of range or something like that. Who knows? So uh, this one, this is the test three at noon, 24 millisecond ping, 133.12 megabit per second uh, download speed. And it looks like it's going to be right around seven. 7.60 megabit per second upload speed. Again, this is this is what it's usually like during the day. So if you are if you work from home and you're like, oh, I don't know, you know, it's kind of unreliable, or you know, I don't know if it's actually going to be fast enough. You can see what it's been doing. It's been like I I dipped down just barely below 100 on the, one of these tests, but almost always it's well above 100 100 megabit per second upload speed. So I'm gonna leave it off here. It is uh, like I said, 12 6 right now. I'm going to come back probably around 1.30 or 2 o'clock and do another one. Hey everyone, welcome back. It is now 2 o'clock. We're going to go ahead and do another series of three tests here. Again, we're uh, January 20th in the middle of the day here. Still really good uh, speeds, as you guys can tell from watching all day long. I think we dropped below 100 one time, but it was only down to 88. 
So obviously not bad. The rest of the time it's been running right around 120, 130, all the way up to, I think there was one that was 170. But I mean, obviously this is more than good enough. Like this is, if you work, work from home, I've been doing it for months now. You know, big, you know, files from uh, Germany and uh, from all over, I'm talking gigabytes worth and just no issues at all. Uh, this first one is 40 milliseconds, 131 megabit per second. Download 5.41 megabit per second. Upload. Let's do number two here. Yeah, I haven't I haven't had any issues at all. No random dropouts or anything like that. Even in storms, in storms it gets a little slower. But even a little slower, it's like oh, it drops down to 40. I'm like yeah, okay, I'm fine with that. So this one's dropped down. Ooh, this one's a lot slower. But still, you know, as I said, 40. It's about 40. Uh, yeah, so 32 millisecond ping, still really nice. 38.56 megabit per second uh, download speed. And keep in mind, my only other option here, and 11.1 uh, megabit per second upload speed, my only other option here is, um, you know, AT&T 6 megabit per second connection to DSL. That's, that's my only other option. So it's either this, which is obviously much better, or you know, six megabit per second, which is absolutely horrendous, and I, I never liked it. Plus, AT&T has terrible customer service. And so this one, we got 27 millisecond ping. And by the way, gaming on this, for anybody that's listening that's a gamer, absolutely no problems. During about 8 to 9 o'clock, eight, well, 8 to 10 o'clock, 8 to 10 o'clock, yeah, okay, you'll get some lag uh, because there's so many people on it. But it's get, even that has been getting lower and lower all the time. So gaming, I've, I rarely have any issues with. But the, anyway, this is a 27 millisecond ping, 60.2 megabit per second download speed, 5.35 megabit per second upload speed. I think I'm going to do one more. Uh, well, it's 2 o'clock right now, 2.04. I'm going to do one more right around 4 o'clock, and we'll call that good because I, not many people work from home much later than that. And besides, you know, it's it's usually it's nice and fast all the way up until about 7 o'clock. Then at 7 o'clock when everybody's getting home and streaming and doing and their kids are there and everything else, then it gets kind of slow. But uh, before basically 7 o'clock, we're all good. So we'll see everybody here at 4 o'clock. Hey, everyone. It is 3.56, close enough to 4 o'clock. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the last three. This is going to be the last series of three that I'm going to do today. Um, just because, you know, now we're getting more. The next one would be at like 6 o'clock. Well, that goes more into the nighttime, uh, the peak time versus daytime. I wanted to make sure that everybody could see this for, uh, you know, for working at home, what they can expect. I mean, I mean, obviously, you can tell working at home during the day, it's been, you know, just great all day long. Like, this is the lowest it's been all day, and it's still 40, you know, almost 40 meg connection. So 32 millisecond ping, 38.87 megabit per second download, and the 16.14 megabit per second upload, which is really, you know, pretty nice. The upload speed is kind of surprising for me. And uh, we're dropping, well, it's making it up there. That's the bad thing. Like, if you watch any of my download videos, what you can do is you can see if you want, because I, uh, I replay it and, you know, sped up, and you can actually see when satellites are coming in and out of range here in the sped up version because it shows spikes because it's it's a graph type and you can see the spikes every time you know satellites come in and out of range there so that's always pretty interesting uh this one 50 millisecond ping which is a little higher than uh others but it's 103.81 megabit per second download and 11.37 megabit per second upload that was test number two and i'm still using as you can see the sparklight server down here and uh to reiterate i'm in northwest georgia the Georgia, the state in the U.S., not the country. And um, like I said, I do these, I used to do them weekly. Now it's about every two to three weeks. Christmas kind of slowed it down a little bit. Um, just for the simple fact, it doesn't change that fast. But I mean, I'm going to keep doing these for, you know, for the foreseeable future anyway. So subscribe, uh, come back in the future. Maybe, you know, six months from now, you finally get the Starlink, you know, uh, email saying you can get it. And uh, then you can come back and see, hey, do I want it or not? But we should be seeing it go, get faster and faster because right now they're fully aware uh, that they're oversubscribed. And they actually said that, that the version 2 satellites that they're putting up right now is to help with areas that are oversubscribed 
and which is actually most of the USBs had a lot of people buy the uh, RV version that they didn't figure people would be willing to pay the extra 20 whatever dollars a month to get it for RV version. So they got the RV version and just keep it at their homes and pay a little bit extra a month so that way they could have it. And I don't blame them. So anyway, uh, this one was 24 milliseconds, 83.34 megabit per second download, 3.87 megabit per second upload. And I'm probably going to try to do some more this weekend, probably at nighttime, maybe in different countries. I had that request. Uh, so that way people could see what it's like. I think it's mostly gamers that want to know. So like, for example, if gamers are, you know, in India or Australia, they want to connect to U.S. servers. They kind of know what to be expecting. So we're going to leave it off there uh, for the end of this video, and we'll see everybody next time.